So the Yanks go one two three still a three two ball game. Tyler Clipper comes on to work now, now and he's the their York usual Yankees. closer but this is Number obviously 30. not a save Tyler opportunity. Clippers. Yeah and this is all about just getting him some work guys. He hasn't had a chance to come in and close the game out for several Maybe days now so City. they're just hoping they Second can keep basement. him sharp and give him the Starling. chance to pitch in a Castro. real game situation here. Oh and one count and the pitch hit high in the air down the right field line. Judge is on his horse. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. First baseman number 35. Eric Digging in and looking for more. Eric Hosmer. Plenty of history against Tyler Clifford. Four hits in 17 at bats. He's taken him deep once. Hopped up. And he'll squeeze this one for the second out. The right fielder number 12. Jorge Soler. We'll stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning as we flash you back to take another look at his solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. First delivery to him on the way. A swing and a miss at the good old Uncle Charlie. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Uh, tried to pull that one back, but he couldn't do it, and it's 0-2 now. This one, everything we could have hoped for. 3-2 in inning number eight. And this ball's chopped foul at the plate, and that'll hold the count at 0-2. Another 0 2 home. And he'll try to hold up in time, but to no avail as he went around and the inning is over. KC down in order. They're up 3 to 2. Chris Withrow is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 52, Chris Withrow. So digging in now, Yogi Berra. No hits in two trips Yankee. to the plate for him in the Patrick. ball game. Yogi Berra. Down on the shins and missed with it. Ball one. And that pitch two misses balls. in the dirt, and it's 2 and 0 oh now. Well, it's got a nice count, 2 and 0. Oh. I know he's looking for something to hit here, but hey, a walk wouldn't hurt you either. Down late in the game, base runners don't hurt. And wow, that looked to be well inside, but it's a called strike. 2 and 1 now. Strike two called and it's even at two. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Well, no preferential treatment there. Sometimes we see great hitters have their calls go their way on close Ryan pitches, but Dozier. not this time. I think that was actually a good take, but on two strikes, anything that close can go either way. Here's Brian Dozier now. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. This ball will be chopped foul. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. What's your take on all the strikeouts now we see in the game today, Dan? Don't that stop. was his third tonight, Don't and it seems we're stop. seeing that a lot more these days. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophies. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Jung Ho Gong stands in as he looks at a called strike. That pitch right there just locked him up. A curveball that doesn't break. A little front door curveball. You're looking for it to go back out over the plate and it doesn't. It just locks you up as a hitter. And Hosmer will just look this one in and the inning is over. One, two, three go the Bombers. They trail three to two. Back in the Big Apple as we're set for what remains of this one on MLB Network. Your Zach Britton please. is called upon, now and it's not for, for his game. usual role. Number Just hoping to keep the deficit at one Zach here. Britton. Now in the box, Hunter Dozier. He'll be. 
charge to it, trying to get on board leading off the ninth. Mike Moustakis will try to get his club a little ninth inning insurance and so grab a bat to pinch hit leading things off here. Goes after the sinker there as this is fouled away. Comes set and the 0 1. Checks his swing, but this will be strike two call. Well, they've really had an answer for keeping him in check in this series. He's offered very little resistance with the bat in his hand so far. 0 oh 2, here it comes. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first down here in the ninth. Well, there's nothing like seeing a good power pitcher that has a good fastball. What does he do? Melky Cabrera. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a flare hit toward right. In comes Judge, and he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. Up next for the Royals, shortstop. Alcides Here's Alcides Escobar, Escobar, the shortstop. These two have not faced each other at the major league level. Now here's the pitch. Popped up, calling for it. Bird, and that's the third out. Royals go down one, two, three, but they still lead it three to two. Here Mike Mustakis is going to go a ahead and stay in the ball game and play Royals. third now. Now playing third base, number eight. Sylvester Mike Gooden Mustakis. comes out of the bullpen to shut Royals, things down here in the ninth. Number 31. Sylvester Gooden. Leading off in the bottom of the ninth, designated hitter, Albert Pollard. There's a good fastball on the outside corner as you'll take a look at strike one. Great spot with that pitch down and away. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep hitting that spot. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. But this will land untouched. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. And he's retired here one away. The batter. Center fielder. In is Christian Yelich. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at bat. It's 1 0. The 1 0. Now a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball, 1 and 1. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. Man, he's got a good fastball. He showed it off right there. He blew it right by him. And that is swung on and missed, and things are starting to look bleak here for the home nine. There are two away now. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys in this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and have backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. And he pours this one in at the letters, 0-1. And he swings and misses. A good pitch there, and the Yankees are down to their final strike now. Looking at the first pitch for a strike, then takes a swing, and now you find yourself down 0-2. He's just got a bat. And the Royals are going to move on. Next stop, the American League Championship Series. Well, they know their work is nowhere close to being finished, but they've handled their business so far, winning here to punch their ticket to the ALCS and a possible trip to the World Series. Well done.
Well, we watched a really solid starting pitching performance, kept the opposition at bay, and as a result, he's our top player of the game. Yeah, I thought he pitched really well. He wasn't necessarily dominant, but turned in a good, solid effort and definitely was a factor in the win here. For Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, this is Matt Vaskersian. This has been the AL Division Series. Our final line score tonight, first for the victorious Kansas City Royals. Three runs on seven hits. No errors. They left four men on base. For the Yankees, two runs on just two hits. No errors. They left no runners on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 52 minutes. Our paid attendance here tonight at Yankee Stadium, 53,325. The Yankees thank you for attending and remind you to please drive home safely.